Welcome to another taste and experience with Key Encounters. Let's talk about it. So check it out. I've got something really interesting here. Um, this is this is literally called Brown Sugar Bourbon, BSB. Now, um, there are two different types. There's a regular um, brown sugar bourbon, and they have the 103. This one is the 103, which means it's 103 proof. Um, which will easily translate to 51.3% um, alcohol by volume. This is a 750 ml uh, uh, bottle. Um, let's see, who's it by by? Is it bottled by BSB Spirits in St. Louis, Missouri? Okay, that's, there's really nothing else by it. So brown sugar bourbon is basically the name. Uh, just this is what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and crack that top. Okay, it's a plastic uh, top. I don't like that. I don't like, I mean, if you're going to go all out, I mean, it's so far a little blase on, on just like the aesthetics of the advertisement. But hey, it's okay. So I don't want to spill this. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. I just didn't want to spill it and take this. But yeah, it's a plastic top. I don't, to make it look metal, I didn't like that. But uh but again, it's just low, you know, maybe, maybe all the quality is not in the advertisement. Hopefully it's in the drink. Let's go ahead and uh, see what this is all about. Well, it definitely smells like brown sugar. I'll tell you that. Um, a little cinnamon, a little cinnamon. But other than that, it just smells like brown sugar. The maple, uh, almost like dark, um, dark brown sugar, right? Uh, that molasses smell, it's pretty predominant. All right, so here we go. Let's get our taste on. I mean, it is what it is, right? It's a very simple, it's a simple label. So, I mean, what else is it supposed to be? <sighs> it's a little, it's a little, a little astringent. A little rough, not as it, it could be a little smoother, but it maybe maybe I should have opted for the um, lower proof. But fuck it, I mean we here, right? Okay, so the brown sugar is there, but I think they're a little heavy on the cinnamon with it, right? To give it that little spice, um, I think they could have pulled back on the a little less cinnamon on that. And I know what you're thinking, they're like, but it's supposed to be brown sugar, yeah, but brown, but cinnamon gives it it's a spice. So if you add that in. It's going to give you that, you know, that sugary situation, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to add to what it, they're trying to do. And this is almost like a snickerdoodle taste, but the brown sugar is there. Don't get me wrong. It is brown sugar, dark brown sugar. The molasses is there. Um, it feels a little thick, and honestly, after consuming it and sitting here, there's like brown sugar. I'm just, I think it's just a little, little cinnamon. It's just it's, it's, little spice on that I'm, I'm telling you it's cinnamon um but it's got a snickerdoodle flavor to it but if you're just looking for a very interesting spirit to drink i think this is good because it is brown sugar with a kick and there's nothing wrong with that so i highly recommend it um i'm pretty sure the one that's right below this one for brown sugar bourbon um is probably going to be a little less spicy so i mean if you're really trying to go all out i'd go with the 103 um I really enjoy it as far as like the aftertaste. You know what, you know what it kind of also got me on? It's a little, again, that cinnamon that's there is interesting. And it tastes like, um, like cinnamon candy a little bit. It, once you can look past the brown sugar aspect, again, brown sugar is there. It tastes like it, but this has a little extra, you know what I mean? For the 103. Um, it is sweet. So definitely be careful with that if you're someone who doesn't like sweet things, uh, but you really want to try this. Also, I think this would probably be really good on like like working with it in like um, baking, like making glazes and stuff. I think that would really work very, very well. But other than that, the experience with this is pretty unique. Um, I've never had anything called brown sugar or anything. I've never even Never even thought of a characteristic of brown sugar in bourbon, so I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, the quality of it is really nice. 
it just caught me off guard because again it's cinnamon forward until you can you know as you're consuming it the cinnamon kind of you get used to it you get used to it um but it's gonna basically shock you right off the bat but overall i think it's really nice and i appreciate you sitting here with me for uh, this experience so if you definitely see it i would say try it and then let's talk about it uh until next time cheers